Now let's talk about saws. Saws are obviously made for cutting wood. Well, here I've got a piece of wood and you can see the distinctive grain pattern. So you wanna select the right tool for the right job. Uh, if we cut with the grain pattern, that's cutting along the grain. If we cut against the grain pattern, that's called cross cutting. So different types of hand saws are used for either cross cutting across the grain or cutting with the grain, cutting along the grain. So it's important to select the right tool for the right job. And we will start with the good old customary hand saw, okay? The hand saw. Many a house has been built because of this hand saw. And we've got teeth, so saw blades have teeth. Now, whether uh, the teeth are coarse or fine is depending on a measurement called teeth per inch. So the more teeth you have per inch, the finer the cut. So saws have various sizes of TPI, teeth per inch. And the less teeth, the more um, rugged or aggressive the saw is, the more coarse a cut. Uh, when you make a cut in a piece of wood, the thickness of the blade, that cut is called kerf, K-E-R-F. Kerf is the thickness of the blade. So this is a typical carpenter hand saw. They might call it a cross-cut saw because it is used to cut across the grain pattern. All right. Now, this is a hacksaw. This is a hacksaw. And a hacksaw has very, very, very fine teeth. I mean, you can barely tell that there's teeth there. It has a lot of teeth per inch. We would not cut wood with a hacksaw. We would cut metal with a hacksaw because there's more teeth per inch. We would not cut metal with a, a crosscut saw or a carpenter saw because there's not as much not as many teeth per inch. So you want to use the right tool for the right job. So crosscut saw, hand saw, hack saw. This is used for cutting metal. I have a special kind of saw here. It's called a coping saw. Now, the hand saw is used for cutting straight cuts. Well, a coping saw would be used for cutting nice curved cuts. Let me give you an example. Here is the letter G, and this G was drawn out on a flat piece of wood, and we could use the coping saw to cut all of these nice little curves. Coping saw is used for cutting curves, much like a scroll saw, uh, which is a power tool. We cut curves with a coping saw. This saw is um, called a compass saw, and it has a very, very small point at the end. Uh, they might also call this a keyhole saw. So a keyhole saw, a compass saw. And what this is designed to do is you need to cut a hole in a wall or something like that, a door, okay? Um, if you tried to come in with a saw like this, you wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't work. Uh, you couldn't even get a saw like this to cut a hole in a wall or a door. It's just not gonna work. So you would drill a hole in the wall or the door with a drill bit and you would insert this end in the hole and you would start cutting around and you could get bigger and bigger and you could cut whatever hole you need to. So this is a compass saw. Now, I've used the term miter before in the classroom and anytime you hear the word miter, M-I-T-E-R, that means angled cuts. Now, if I want to make an angled cut, I can certainly draw out an angled line on my piece of wood. And, you know, if I've got a lot of experience with this carpenter saw, I should be able to cut out that angled um, line. However, there's always a chance that it just is not straight. It just is not perfect. We need a little help. So when we're trying to cut ang uh, angles, we have something called a miter box. And this miter box has grooves. And you can see I've got, you know, a 90 degree angle. I've got a 45 degree angle. And I can also make beveled cuts so I can cut at an angle this way. Well, I have a saw. It's called a, it's like a back saw, a back saw, a back saw. But it fits into this miter box. So together, 
the back saw in the miter box, they would call this a miter saw. And this is used for cutting at angles. So again, if I want to cut at a 30 degree angle or a 45 degree angle, I choose the right grooves and I cut across. I put the wood in here and I cut across. Miter saw. And those are saws.